We've all heard of slash imagine to create images in mid-journey. What other commands do we have? Well, I'm gonna start going through them all right now. For example, you can use slash blend to blend two to five images together. So type in slash blend, and then you'll get a option to start uploading some images. Click the first one, pick the image you want, click open, repeat for the second. Any additional you wanna add, just click on the end, choose from the drop down. So now I have image three, and I can repeat this for image four and image five if I want to. When I'm ready, I hit enter. Now, as you can see, it's blended those images together and created this. And remember, if you don't have a paid subscription yet, type in slash subscribe into Discord in order to sign up for a plan. But you can also use slash tune to create your own style. So we head back into Discord. I type in slash tune, and then I give it a prompt of something I want to style, such as a 3D render of a cyborg dog. It will come up with this information here, all the information I have, and it will tell me exactly how much it will cost of my GPU time. And I can choose how many images I want to create. The more, the more expensive it will be for your account. 32 should do fine. You can also choose whether you want it to be raw mode to take away that mid-journey opinionated nature, but we'll stick with default and hit submit. I'll need to confirm I want to spend this amount of time from my GPU hours from my account. And then I wait a couple of minutes. I receive a message saying that my style tuner is now ready. I click on the link and I go through and choose the images of the style I want to create. So whatever matches best, I can either do it with these grids left and right, or I can just pick my favorites from this grid here, which is left or right. I'm gonna go with two styles at a time and pick the ones I like. I like this more than that. And I go through and pick the ones that better match the style I'm after. And I don't have to pick all of them, just the ones I like. Down the bottom here, it gives me a style code that I can use. I can right click and go copy, head back to Discord. I type in a 3D render of a cyborg dog, paste my style, hit enter. And it's blended those together to create this sort of weird machine. But I can also go back and I can turn certain uh, items on or off to refine and turn them off and generate a whole new style or copy the entire prompt. And then we get this very stylized type of image. But I can also go in and choose to create something else, such as a robotic duck with purple eyes using that same style. And I get this very similar style of render. If you want to keep using this style, you can also try slash setting and turn on sticky style and it will continue to use that style when generating images as long as you enter the style after activating this toggle. And you can just turn it off when you're ready. But let's take a look at slash settings. If you ever want to change the model you're using here, just go to the drop down. You can choose Midjourney 5.2, 5.1, Niji, and any other models available in this drop down for an easy switch. You can also go to raw mode, which takes away Midjourney's opinionated nature. There's also different levels of stylized that you can adjust by just the dash dash stylized parameter. But below a lot of the actions here have commands associated with them. Now, when it comes to versions or raw or stylized, those are some parameters you can use to actually switch and use those at the end of your prompt. But going onto the commands, you can see we have public mode turned on. You can type in slash public if you want your images to be public or slash stealth if you want to actually make them private so they don't end up being seen. It's completely private on Midjourney. If you message the bot directly, that won't be seen on Discord either. And this worked only with the pro plan and above. Keep in mind, I do have a cheat sheet of all these commands linked to in the description below. Now I'm gonna to touch on remix in a minute, but we're gonna move on to high variation, low variation mode. If you type in slash prefer variability, it will toggle between high variation and low variation mode. And if you want to adjust the speed of your generations, you'll notice there's turbo, fast, and relax mode. Typing in slash relax will put you in a relax mode, which means you can generate images without it affecting your GPU time. And they're essentially free as long as you actually have a paid account, but it doesn't affect your usage for the month. Fast mode is the default. Just type in slash fast and you'll be put onto fast mode, which is your standard. Uh, mode for generating images and turbo type in slash turbo you'll generate images much faster but at a much higher expense but coming back to remix mode the command for that is slash remix to turn that on or off so the way that works is in discord i currently have remix mode turned on if i type in slash remix it will turn it off but here's what happens if i want to create a variation or even if i have an upscale i want to vary i click vary number four 
and it simply goes ahead and creates that image. If I upscale one of these and use, say, very region, I can make edits, but there's no way for me to type my prompt. I'll go back in, type in remix, prefer remix, it's turned back on. So now when I go up and hit very number four, it'll ask me if I want to change that prompt and I can submit. Also, if I go down now to very region, I can now select an item and type in black hole and submit that. So Remix gives you the option to actually change your prompt when using different features of Mid Journey. And I generally always have it turned on because you can always just submit again with the same prompt, even if it is turned on. The next one is slash prefer suffix. Again, I type in prefer suffix and I can actually add a new value. What this does will automatically add this to the end of my prompts. So I type in dash dash AR 16 to nine or even dash dash video to the end, hit enter. And you'll see the suffix is now AR 16 to nine dash dash video. So now I type in a prompt. So you see here I have a rocket flying through a land room, nothing on the end. I hit enter and it's added that suffix to the end and created our images at that aspect ratio and also with the video command. If I wanna remove it, I type in prefer suffix, enter, enter again, blank, and the suffix is now removed. But you can also create custom codes by using prefer option. So I'm gonna go slash prefer option, enter, and I'm gonna give my code a name. I'm gonna call it hypo1, and then click outside and give it a value. This is where I can say dash dash AR three to one, dash dash Niji. I can even add some prompt in the end there, something like, so I've added here extremely bright colors, fluoro colors, dash dash AR three to one and Niji. And what this will do is create a code called hypo one. So I hit enter and you can see custom option hypo one set to extremely bright colors, fluoro colors. So now I type in my prompt. I have a person walking space dash dash hypo one, hit enter. And you see a person walking, extremely bright colors, fluoro colors. It's added that on the end by typing in that code. And now we have our image. If you want to remove that code, type in slash prefer option, give it a value, which is hypo one again. If you want to remove it, hit enter, hit enter again without the value. And hypo one has been removed. You can also use prefer option list. And this will actually help you see what options you've created. Simple, I go slash, prefer options list. You can see it here, hit enter. It'll show the various options I've created as well as what I've added on the end. The next one is slash show. So I've gone to the MidJourney website because maybe I want to bring up one of my old images. I can go over here to my images and I want to get it to show up in Discord. So I'm going to do a search. I'm going to say Santa and I can scroll down until I find the one I'm after. So I can go and pick one of these, say this one here. And if I go to the three dots here next to it, I can copy the job ID. Then when I head back to Discord, I type in slash show, paste in the job ID, hit enter, and it has brought up the original grid of images from that job, which means I can now go ahead and do more with it, such as variations, that kind of thing. So if I want to vary number two, I can go variations. Using remix mode, I can change that to a 3D render and I can start to work on that image and just have a little bit of fun with it, see what I can do with my old images. Now, what about slash describe? So the way slash describe works is I type in slash describe enter and it allows me to upload an image. I choose this picture of Santa, hit enter. And you see I have my picture of Santa and also four prompts that have been made from that. So I can use this to upload images and create prompts from those images and also then explore various keywords that I can use. So I can copy and paste these or come down and just hit one, two, three or four if I want to, cr want to actually create images from those prompts. I can also re-roll to get four more descriptions or imagine all four of them with this one here. So if I imagine this last one here by clicking four, I have remix mode turned on, I click submit, and it's used that prompt to create these images. But if I think this prompt is a little too long or one of these other ones up here, such as this first one, what I might do is hit right click copy and maybe I want to shorten it. 
I type in slash shorten. So again, I type slash shorten, enter, paste my prompt in there, hit enter again, and it produces five much shorter prompts that I can use, such as Old Man and Christmas is the shortest, and there's a few here that are a bit longer. So it goes from longest to shortest in this particular example, and you can see what it's removed. So if, again, if I want to, I can submit one of these. Let's go off number three. And that has basically given Midjourney a little bit more freedom with that prompt because it's less detailed. Now, if you're creating a lot of images, you're probably gonna to wanna to know where you stand with your account to make sure you don't run out. So that's where slash info comes in. I type in slash info, hit enter. It gives me some information about my account, including my user ID, my subscription. Also, how many hours I have remaining on my account and my lifetime usage. That's a pretty handy feature for checking out where you stand with your account. Another thing you can do is type in slash ask. So if I type in slash ask down the bottom and hit enter, it allows me to ask a question. So I type in something like, how do I change the aspect ratio of my images? Hit enter, and it will actually answer the question for me and send me off to the documentation if I want to read any further. And again, you also have slash help. Simply type in slash help, and it will give you a menu of places you can go to get some help for what it is you're after or give you a bit of information on how to do the things you're looking to do. And there's three more commands you can use, but only in mid-journey server rooms, not in your own server or private messaging. So let's go take a look. So if I head down the left here to the mid-journey server, come down to one of the newbie rooms. There's a lot of action going on here and sometimes it's hard to keep up, but this next command is slash docs. So once I'm in that newbie room, I type in slash docs, hit enter, and you'll see it'll bring up a list of documentation that I can actually explore. I choose something like Niji, hit enter, and I can actually look up the information about Niji right here. I can also type in slash FAQ for frequently asked questions. So again, slash FAQ, enter, and I get a whole bunch of frequently asked questions I can explore. So I type in mid journey glossary, enter, and I can find information here with a link. So it's a great way of finding links to documentation pretty easily. The last one is slash daily underscore theme. So once again, in a newbie room, I type in slash daily underscore theme. And I can choose to participate. I have to say yes or no. I click yes, hit enter, and it says we've shown the daily theme channel to you. Now, if I scroll down on the left over here, it's down a fair bit, but themed image gen, you'll see there's daily theme. You can go through and see what other people are submitting and work from there. Now, if you want to learn all of the mid journey parameters, if you're watching this sometime in the future, it will be on the screen right now. Otherwise, I am coming out with that video again soon, an updated version. So subscribe if you want to be pinged when that one arrives. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video and I hope you found it useful. Remember to check out my cheat sheet, link to in the description below. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.